Hello guys, Nepal Times here, welcome to a new video and today look what I have here well it's an iPhone but inside this iPhone is the iOS 14 beta and in this video we're going to take a look at the new translations app that was released with iOS 14 Okay, so Apple announced iOS 14 yesterday, as the time of recording this video, depending on when you're seeing it. And yeah, there's many new features, and one of them that was actually very surprising is a brand new translations app. This app can translate between many languages in conversation mode and many other things. And yeah, in this video we're gonna test it out and see how it performs. Now, keep in mind that this is just beta 1, so there's a lot of room for improvement here and it might and very possibly will change before the final release. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here I have the iPhone and here is the Translate app. So this app is very simple, uh, you just see something here, uh, the two languages that you're gonna translate from and to, and just a text field and a microphone. So if you touch the microphone, uh, you will do test here, in this case, we're going to be testing Spanish to English, uh, mainly. So yeah, we can just tap the microphone and say ¿Qué tiempo hace hoy? What kind of weather will we have today? And that's it, it just translates it. So I have to say it's still a bit buggy. It's of course beta 1, so this is totally normal. And sometimes you speak and it doesn't, because there's no option to say like I finished speaking. So you have to wait until it recognizes it and stops. Uh, but yeah. But never mind. <laughs> but yeah, especially with longer sentences, I've realized that happens. So as you saw, of course, you can uh, speak, but also you can type. So I can say, and it will translate. There's also the option to the bike is red. reproduce it, and of course the Siri voice will reproduce that for you. And then you can favorite translations. So here you see there's another tab that's favorites, and. Yeah, you can just favorite them and then you see your recent translations. So in case there's some sentence that you want to learn, you can favorite here and you will see it uh, a lot and then you can just learn it. So, yep, yeah. also there's this bookmark here and that's a dictionary. So you can tap each word and it will give you a definition. So that's pretty neat. Next to the languages that are supported, so far there's not a lot of languages. Uh, we have Arabic, Chinese, English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian and Spanish, which are the mainly spoken languages in the world. Uh, however, one very good thing is that you can download each language and do translations between them offline. So that's pretty handful, especially if you're um, abroad or traveling or something and you need it you can just download the language and if you're in the street and you have no internet connection there's no problem you can just use it so for example you can see i have english and spanish downloaded here but i can also download german and russian for example that's the four languages i kind of know something about so yeah then of course there's automatic detection where you can just type in whatever language among these and it will detect what language it is and just um translate it and last but not least, and Apple made a big deal about this in the keynote, if you turn your device, you can see a conversation mode. So pretty much any person can speak, uh, and if you're having a conversation with someone, each person can read uh, one side of the screen, and you can, yeah, very simple, can reproduce sound. El coche es amarillo. And actually it will recognize in which language. Uh, you're speaking and go to that language. So that's pretty nice actually But yeah, as I said, it's very 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 simple so far um, the only thing I do miss though is uh, an Icon here to change the language. So instead of translating from Spanish to English if I want to translate from English to Spanish That would be nice, but other than that very good uh, very handful and of course you can still ask Siri for translations Traduce el coche es amarillo a inglés And yeah, it's very simple. So yeah, that's it. Now let's go ahead and finish the video. So yeah, as you saw, that's the translate app. It's very straightforward, very simple. Not a lot of languages are it so far, but it's very possible that we'd see even more, uh, of course, in the coming months and even maybe before the final official release of iOS 14. 
Um, also, I have been comparing it with uh, Google Translate and it is actually a bit faster at the translations, even though they're pretty similar, I have to say that sometimes this one gives a more accurate result. Also, I noticed that sometimes I say something and they understand it incorrectly, both of them, but then this one did change it because it didn't make much sense the other way and changed the sentence to something that gave more sense and of course then the translation given was more accurate. So if you want me to do a comparison between the Translate app, Apple Translate, I guess we can call it, and Google Translate, you can let me know down below in the comments or by liking this video. Uh, I will do it uh, whenever we're closer or even when the final release is on, to be fair to Apple, because as I said it's very very buggy at this point, and especially for longer sentences it gets stuck and doesn't translate it. But yeah, so what do you think about this new Translate app? Um, are you going to use it? Would you uninstall it just uh, as soon as you get it? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.